Hey everyone, Derek here with day four of my Pokemon Go journal. And today was an interesting one because, well, I started out the day going to my basically hometown because I moved away to a different town, still in the same area, but just a different town, to take care of some things with the family. And I actually got to interact with them a bit and tell them about, well, Pokemon Go because it has been so much of my work lately and they often ask how work is going. And, you know, trying to explain it to them was an interesting situation where they kind of got it, but they also kind of didn't because, you know, they're older and they don't really know. My, my dad was like, okay, boy, whatever you say. He just sort of went with it and kind of Scott, you know, kind of got a chuckle out of seeing the Pokemon point uh, pop up and that kind of thing. But th then the thing is, he also helped out because there are there were Pokestops when we were traveling to go to a few stores and then go grab a bite to eat. And uh, he he actually went out of his ways to go way to drive by Poke Stop so I could get some quick items because I was low on Poke Balls, and that was very nice of him. That was very cool to have him do that. And you know, didn't really catch anything new or interesting in that area. I saw hints of like a Squirtle or whatnot, but because we're driving, I can't exactly go that far. And I appreciate him going out of his way for that, but I'm not going to say, go this way, let's hunt for this Squirtle. I just, you know, can't do that. So the thing is, I got, I get back and my grandparents just happened to get back from a vacation. So I ended up talking with them for a bit, telling them about how Pokemon Go is going and telling about the game and blowing their minds a bit when I show one of the Pokemon is in their house and they just get a kick out of it and they pose for it and got a laugh and you know that kind of stuff it was fun it was it was cool to see their reactions and then just blown away by it but that's about as much as I got as far as this morning for Pokemon Go didn't really get to see much but I got a few Poke stops and that was the big thing uh, it wasn't until after I finished the Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke live stream a little earlier than I thought, so I actually had more time to spend with Pokemon Go before I wanted to do these journals. The thing is, I uh, could have drove to that spot I was telling you about with the park where it had all kinds of Pokestops, but I decided to take a walk to see if I encountered any different Pokemon to uh, or stuff like that when I was on the way there. And I took a pretty roundabout method to get to each of the Pokestops and whatnot, but the thing is, they're, they weren't quite as clumped together as I had initially thought, which made it a little bit difficult because, well, I basically took a 20 minute walk to get to this park and didn't really have much to show for it other than helping to help uh, to hatch out some eggs, even though the game glitched and I missed out on one of the eggs that hatched, specifically a 10 kilometer one, which really stinks because I need all the Pokemon that pop out of 10 kilometer eggs, uh, except for Eevee. And of course, the first 10 kilometer egg I hatched, I got an Eevee, which I get a ton of, which is nice, but that's the way it goes. So I had a bit of a glitch that way, but in other ways, but I didn't really encounter anything. I saw a seal, but I couldn't find it. And I was like, okay, whatever. We'll just get to the, we'll get to this park. I'm going to plop down a lure. I'm going to, on one of the Pokestops that are clustered in there, I'm going to pop down a lucky egg and we're going to rack up the experience. And barely any Pokemon showed up. Even though it was a lot of Pokestops, there weren't a lot of Pokemon around. And it was very unfortunate. I just couldn't take advantage of it. But... The good news came is as I was talking to some people, because there were other people at the park and they were appreciative of the, of the uh, lore that I put down, and I had some guy. there were some guys that drove by and said, if you go three blocks this way to an underpass, there is a Charmander there. So immediately I started walking in that direction and lo and behold, I got a Charmander, which was really cool, which actually means I have now caught a Pikachu, a Charmander, a Bulbasaur, and a Squirtle. So all the starters from the Gen 1, which is really cool. That ties into another portion of my encounters here, because one of the things I decided to do was I evolved an Eevee, another Eevee, hoping to get an, a, a, one of the other Eeveelutions for this Gen. I ended up getting another Vaporeon, but it was a stronger Vaporeon, so I, was, I used that Vaporeon and to take gems and put in my less powerful Vaporeon to sort of keep it. I got it, I trained it, I felt like I was in a pretty good position. I, I lowered the gym's prestige and just took it over. It felt it felt good to actually go through a gym and really make some progress. And unfortunately, I was like, okay, well, I say unfortunately because of what comes later. Basically, I was feeling pretty good. I was like, okay, let's head to this next gym and take care of that one. And it looked pretty doable from everything that I'd seen. 
But unfortunately, it glitched on me, and I, I couldn't take it over. So I was like, well, I got one at least. I, you know, you get more Poke Coins the more you have and, I, you know, uh, and whatnot. I knew you got kind of a bonus. So my whole thought was, well, I lost out on my bonus, and there's already so many people wandering around the town playing Pokemon Go. I'm, I'm like, well, eventually I'm going to lose this gym. It's just the way this game goes. I cannot hold these gyms. I just don't have a foothold, enough of a foothold. So I was like, all right, well, I'll get my Poke, my poke Coin now. So now I'm up to 40 Poke Coins. Yay. Except the problem is when I went to go get the Charmander, there were two gyms right next to each other, both Team Blue, my Team Mystic. And I'm like, oh, okay. At first I was happy. I was like, oh, cool. I'll pop in a Pokemon here. And I couldn't pop in a Pokemon on the other one, but I trained with it enough that I could raise its prestige to level two and then pop the Pokemon on there to help defend it. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling really clever. I'm feeling good about this. And I go to collect my Poke Coins. Then I got two more, thinking I could get them as well. Nope. Because I already collected the coins for the day, No, even if I get more gems, you, you have to still wait that 21 hours for it to refresh. And at that point, I'm like, well, I just lost out on the 20 extra Poke Coins because I can just skip ahead now. I got home and poof. They were gone. I, I'd lost two of them, and I only have one left, so... Maybe it'll stick around and I can actually hold this one for a decent amount of time, but I'm not counting on it. So, lost more, but... Eh, you know, I'm getting a little bit better at these gym fight, gym battles and whatnot, but it, it, I felt good. It, it really did feel good to battle it out, because the Pokemon that I... The, my most powerful Pokemon was 600, and I was fighting... In order to increase the prestige, I had to beat a Pokemon... Uh, a Pidgeot that was CP of 800. And thankfully, I was able to just keep on it enough that I dodged at the right time, I used my specials, I was used it at the right moments, and it took me two tries, but I took down that Pidgeot and got the prestige level up. So I at least feel good about what I accomplished with the gems. It's just that I screwed up otherwise because of misunderstanding. We'll fix that in the future, you know, keep at it and all that good stuff, but at least I caught a Charmander, I utilized my lucky eggs in such a way that I was evolving Pokemon, and uh, even though I didn't, I, I evolved a Caterpie and got a Met Metapod, um, even though I already caught a Metapod, but I wanted this Metapod, I wanted, when I get a Butterfree, I wanted to be a pretty high CP because I like Butterfree, so I, I wanted to power up one of my other Caterpies that actually had some CP to it, but one of the other eggs I hatched today was, it uh, turned out to be a seal. Which is awesome. I didn't have a seal. Even I, and the funny thing is, I was searching for a seal, and I just happened to get one, uh, even though I didn't catch it. The funny thing is, though, that, like the one kick in the teeth is like, "Yay, I got a seal!" Even though every other egg I've hatched up to this point has been repeats for me. And yeah, I hatched I hatched a Magikarp, and that kind of works out because you need so many Poke candies for Magikarps. But then I talked to this other girl that uh, this girl that I met in the park, who was with her friend, and they were we were talking about eggs and everything else, and. Whatnot, and I noticed that there was a Snorlax on the gym that I hadn't seen before. And I'm like, oh man, somebody caught a Snorlax. And she's like, oh yeah, that was me. She hatched a Snorlax. And then she told me she had also hatched a Growlithe. And because they just so happened to finish up an egg, uh, hatching their, her egg at that moment, a freaking Kabuto popped out. This girl had incredible luck when it came to hatching these eggs and I've had no luck as I said before I hatched a 10 mil 10 uh, kilometer egg and I every other Pokemon on that list is something I could never catch yet I got the freaking Eevee which I have plenty of however there is a happy ending to this whole excursion I was heading back walking back I'd spent about two and a half hours out there my feet are starting to kill me my battery's dying I have less than I have less than 10 percent my lucky egg is about to run out and I'm basically trying to get as much experience as I can uh, up to that point. But it's then I noticed that I had I, I had caught an Eevee that had 200 CP and I decided to start leveling it up or start powering it up, I should say. And by, I, I had plenty of Stardust at that point and I was like, you know what, let's just go until I can't anymore. And the crazy thing is, is that I, I had reported in the tips video that you can only have a maximum of a 1000. That is not true. I actually got, because of my level, I was able to power up a uh, this Eevee be to a point where I actually had to spend 1300 Stardust and two poke and two Eevee candies in order to power it up. And I decided, you know what? 
this EV is super high level. I'm getting good good rates with uh, every power up. I'm getting about 15 extra CP, and by the time I ate, ate through all of my C, all of my Stardust, I went to zero. Almost, I think I had 12 Stardust left by the time I was done powering up this EV. I'm like, okay, it's good to go. Let's evolve it. Let's see what happens. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just waiting for Vaporeon to happen again. Even though it has Dig, and everybody was talking about how there's, it's not random, I, I evolved a, uh, one EV that had Dig, and it got a Vaporeon. But this EV that I evolved actually got a Flareon. Really cool. Even better, it has 909 CP. It is by far my most powerful Pokemon. It is awesome. Great to have a powerhouse that it, that'll help me get through gyms again. So, feeling really good about that, need to build up my Stardust, but thanks to the park and walking back and forth and whatnot, I was down to about 30 Pokeballs, now I'm up to about 90. So, good shape there, nice progress, and I am only about 3,000 experience from getting level 12, which will unlock Great Balls for me. So, that's even cooler. I, even though I didn't really catch much tonight, even though I did get Seal, Flareon, and Charmander, I feel like I still made progress. I, I, made, I made kind of a difference in my game so I didn't have to worry about spending money. And just before this, I didn't evolve any Pokemon because I, I just had a ton of Caterpies and a ton of Pidgeys, and I finally went through and started getting rid of all my extras. So I have tons of candies in those, but no Stardust to power them up in order to make a more powerful Beedrill or another Pidgeot that'll be really powerful because I used it all in the Flareon. Not that I mind, Flareon is much cooler than Beedrill or Pidgeot, but it's just, you know, I, I once I wish there was a way to get Stardust easily. That is something I've encountered a lot. So fortunately, I'm finding a decent amount of Pokemon. Things are going well, and that's my experiences. But before I end this journal off, I was actually talking to friends that live down in Baltimore, and the cool thing about that was that they're they've gotten into it. They're a married couple. It's it's really cool how they they play a lot of games together, and of course they're playing Pokemon Go, and they're doing very well because well Baltimore is a pretty big you know, hub, so there's a lot of Poke Stops and whatnot. And it turned out that there's a, like some sort of park or something, I, I forget the exact thing of it, but some sort of area that they went to, and there's so many Poke Stops around it. But even better, there were, because there were so many Poke Stops, there was a lot of people around there. And she she sent me pictures of it. Each one of these Poke Stops, somebody had dropped a lore, a lore module on top of it. So all these Pokemon were showing up and everybody was catching Pokemon. She said there were like, tons of people here congregating, talking to strangers again, and so it's not just me that's encountering all this. I've talked to friends that live in different places, they are, they are encountering people as well. And the funny thing is, everybody sort of has the same greeting. If you notice that somebody else is playing Pokemon Go, you immediately get their attention, lift up your phone to show your screen, and like, Pokemon Go. That's all you have to say, and then the conversation starts. And to see them go through it and see that happen again, makes me like, want to try this, you know, keep playing. I did not expect my addiction to get to this point. I thought, I honestly thought it would be like Mitomo and I would just lose interest after a while, but no, the interest is still there. Pokemon gyms are in inspiring me to try to do better. I want to fill out that Pokedex. I'm so close to 50, which will get me the silver medal in the, in the Kanto medal thing. So close there. I, you know, it, it is that, it, it's fun. It's fun catching these new Pokemon. You're working towards goals, and I don't, because I'm constantly doing different things, I'm feeling good about it all. So, yeah, that's day four, still very feeling positive, which I did not expect. I, thought, I expected by this point for my interest to just start dropping down, and it hasn't. So, it's really cool. But let me know more of you guys' experiences, more of you guys' what you have uh, seen and done in Pokemon Go. And of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more journals, more Pokemon Go coverage, and other Pokemon coverage, and other things gaming as well. <laughs> Alright guys, bye!